today on the show, I'm going to teach you how to make homemade, creamy, peppermint patty, bath salts for you to soak in the tub. Okay, I'm going to use, in a bowl, you need a big bowl. We're going to use about four pounds of Epsom salt. And you can get your salt, at, like mine came from my local Walmart. And it's over in the pharmacy section. I know you can get it at Dollar Tree and, and Dollar General Store and also at your local grocery store. We're also going to add some powdered milk to it. And you need a cup for every pound of Epsom salt you added. So we've done four pounds, so we need four cups of powdered milk. Okay, now I have my Epsom salt, and then over here is my powdered milk. Now we're going ahead to get some peppermint oil, and um, mine comes from a, like a little bulk store for spices and stuff, but you can get it at uh, pharmacies, uh, I have seen it at Walmart around the pharmacy section. So just check your grocery stores and other stores for peppermint oil. You don't want peppermint extract. You want peppermint oil. There's a difference between them. And if you can't find it, you can buy it online. I've seen it online. And this is going to be how many drops to this will vary because it depends on how much peppermint scent you want to your bath salts so I'm going to start with uh, let's do 20 1 2 3 14 20 and a little goes a long way with peppermint okay we're gonna stir this and I'll be right back Stirred it real good, and I have smelled it, and it has a nice peppermint scent, but I think I want a little bit more peppermint added to mine since I've used a lot of Epsom salt and powdered milk. So I'm going to add another um, 10 drops, okay? And then the next step is optional. You can color it with food coloring. You can do red uh, for a uh, peppermint candy cane color or you can do green which I'm doing green. Um, that's what, what mint actually color reminds me of is mint leaves so I um, chose green as my color and it depends on how intense you want your color is how many drops you want to add so i'm going to start out let's start out so this is a big bag let's start out with 10. Two, three. i know everybody's counting with me <laughs> that's fine and we're just going to stir this and see if we need to add any more green food coloring okay the spoon wasn't adding it in like I wanted to it so you might want to use gloves and I'm just going to use my hand and kind of get that color mixed through the granules and all the powdered milk I don't know if you can see but I'll kind of ring it up see you got green pieces of flex and I like it actually how it ended up coloring it it don't really color the um, powdered milk which is really odd I thought it would but it just clings to the Epsom salt that's down in it and really colors it so through this we've got bits and pieces of green from the Epsom salt I think it's so cute that it really looks like bits and pieces of mint or strung through it and speaking of mint, you could probably add some um, dried peppermint leaves or fresh peppermint leaves 
to your jar that we're going to put this in and give it its gifts. Um, peppermint is a wonderful, wonderful therapy for yourself. When you when you use this, you're going to use about depends on how big <coughs> big a tub you're using. Like the standard tub, you'll probably just use a handful into your water, like this, running warm water. But if you've got a big garden tub like I did, you might want to have a bigger handful. So we'll say that for a standard tub, you're going to need uh one fourth of a cup and then for a regular big garden tub uh you're going to need probably about uh not quite a half a cup but we'll, we'll, we'll say a half a cup under running warm water and your water is going to turn cloudy and don't worry about it that, that's because that's what the milk in here is going to do um, back in the day, the, uh, Egyptians, especially the Egyptians, um, women would take milk baths. This will soften your skin, the milk will in it, and make it so creamy and soft and soothe it, especially in this harsh winter we're having right now with, I don't know about anybody else, but my skin really breaks out during the winter time of how... <clears throat> the weather changes to cold temperatures and I get a dry patchy skin so this will really help the peppermint is going to relax you uh, your whole body even your mind is going to relax your muscles if they're tense and stressed out it's just like a aromatherapy wonderful bath you're going to treat yourself to all right we're just going to ladle this up into some cute little jars and i'll show you what it looks like in a minute i just put mine in a and a regular old canning jar it's a quart and you can i don't know if you can see the big specks of green or white i'm trying to get a close-up look and then just done me a little tag to tell you what it is. Creamy peppermint patty bath salts. And then over on the other side you could actually write on the other side of your tag you could actually write like how much do you, how much to use in your bathtub. And just tie it with a cute little ribbon or whatever. I mean you can add more make it more pretty, maybe some color to your tags. I'll had some white paper and so that's just what I did and I got to thinking if you have the cold or flu peppermint will help you it's it's aromatherapy it'll breathe you'll breathe it in and it'll get down in your chest and actually break stuff up so this might be good for this time of year since we've got colds viruses and flu going rapid wild that's it